up YouTube fam? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you on this? What is today? Sunday. Today is Sunday. Today is God's day. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't believe in God, I don't hate you. I believe in God, but whatever. That was just a saying. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, my surroundings look different. Yes, they do. Um, I've, I've just been going through a lot, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's why I haven't really had time to do any videos, but I'm trying to squeeze through right now to do a video just because nobody's home and I have like this moment right now just to like make this video. So I was thinking I was going to do a video on like advice, well like my advice or whatever on like living on your own and what you should expect or like reality or whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. Um... But yeah, uh, I wrote it on a piece of paper right here. So if I'm looking down or anything, it's because, uh, yeah. And um, my tripod is just breaking. Like, one of the legs is broken, the other leg's like bent. And then like the part like to hold my phone to like, <laughs> Snickers! To like hold my phone to video me. Yeah, I don't know where it is. It broke off. So, like, what I have is, like, one of those phone cases where, like, you can flip the, like, the case. So, like, you could like, lean it towards the front so you can have it standing on its own so you can, like, watch a video or whatever. I don't know if that makes sense, but, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I've just been having it tough lately. Well, not tough because, like, I've been enjoying it, kind of. But my life is just a mess this right now. <laughs> So, yeah, I was thinking about honestly quitting YouTube for like a month or two just so I could get my stuff together. But I'm not going to do that because... I'm in it for the win. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, the first thing, I'm not going to go in like any specific order. I'm just going to go with like the list I got, the first thing. Snickers! Stop! Snickers! Let me, let me close this door because he's like freaking out. Okay, the first thing I got on my list is to go grocery shopping because I've learned and I'm still in the process of learning to not spend your money on going out to eat every single day because that's just wasting more and more money and it's going to leave you broke and you could be like saving way more if you went grocery shopping. Like I don't even cook so when I go grocery shopping I buy like microwave stuff and like basic stuff that's like not healthy for you but it's food so yeah I would recommend going grocery shopping instead of going out to eat every single day like I do <laughs> cuz uh, yeah you're not gonna be able to save money like that and I've learned it the hard way like I like will spend money on food and gas like my whole paycheck and my paycheck isn't a lot like it's like 180 a week but yeah that whole paycheck will go to food and gas and then like I'm broke for like the next three days and then I'm like what the heck am I gonna eat so yeah like you can like divide it and like go out to eat like once a week or something but I would recommend just going grocery shopping like to find something to eat every single day for the seven days a week you know so yeah before you think about moving out make sure there is money coming in make sure you have a job make sure you're trapping make sure you're doing something to provide that money okay because you have bills to pay you have groceries you have like hygiene things you have to buy on your own you got laundry if you live in an apartment quarters you got to have quarters to do laundry like you just have to have money like this world revolves around money like you just have to have money if you want to move out on your own like you, I would say to move out on your own and having like a good decent apartment and like still have money to spend I would say you would at least have to be getting paid like ten dollars an hour That's just my like opinion on it, but yeah so just make sure you're getting money in and like Think about like if you get paid once a week or twice a week like add that up like to how much you would be making in one month and then like add up like how much the apartment payment like rent is and then like how much cock electricity water gas trash whatever you're paying for add it all up together and then see if like your paycheck equals out to like how much the total of your living cost is gonna be if that makes any sense but yeah just make sure you have money get a roommate that's like my next one um if you want to live on your own i mean if you want to like live legitimately like just on your own and be like a bad motherfucker then do that just live on your own but i would recommend a roommate just so that 
not necessarily for you to have somebody to fall back on, but just you know that somebody is going to be there to help you like halfway, you know? Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just better to have a roommate, but like make sure it's a roommate that like you know you're going to be okay with living with because like living with people is just way different because that's when you figure out like, oh, is, does this person do this? Does this person do that? Does this person do this? Like, you know? <sighs> yeah, just get yourself a roommate because they'll help you with some groceries and the bills and the cleaning and like whatever else happens in a house, apartment, whatever. Yeah, I would just recommend yourself to get yourself a roommate. Plus, like, you don't want to be lonely, do you? I wouldn't want to be lonely, you know? I want somebody to cuddle with, uh, like, every once in a while. The next thing, my hair is just crazy. Um, the next thing I have on here is electricity and, like, Cox is, like, what I would pay. But, yeah, I mean, living in an apartment, all you have to pay is, like, the rent of the apartment and then, like, electricity and, like, Cox. That's all I pay. And, yeah, that's pretty much the bills in an apartment. Like, well, my, like, experience in an apartment. And that's only, like, 200 like, the total of both bills. So, I only need 200 a month to live. Well, not really to live because, you know, I need to eat and, like, I need gas. So, I need, like, way more than 200 a month. But, yeah. And then I know, like, in a house, you have to pay, like, electricity, Cox, rent, water, gas. You have to pay for, like, everything. Like, that sucks. But it's, like, way better to live in a house just because, like, you have, like, your own your own space kind of you know instead of like in an apartment i don't know if that makes sense just because like in an apartment like everybody's so so close to each other and you don't have like your backyard and like it's just yeah <laughs> okay and then before you think about moving out you have to have money saved up like i personally would have money saved up at least a thousand dollars to five hundred dollars saved up in your bank account before you move out because you're going to need a down payment and then like right when you move in you're going to need, you know, like you're going to need dishes, you're going to need like toothpaste, your own towels, your own toilet paper, your own laundry detergent because you don't live with your parents no more. Like you're going to need all these things. So I would say save up some money for your down payment for your apartment or house or whatever and then like for your furniture and stuff that you need. Just make sure you have money saved up. And then I wrote down furniture, but I mean, we kind of talked about furniture earlier, you know, you're going to need it. Unless you have like bomb ass friends and family that are like, hey, I don't want this anymore and then just give it to you, then that would be awesome. But if you don't have bomb ass parents or friends, then you got to save money and get your furniture, girl. I really hope nobody walks in on me doing this YouTube video because then it's going to get real awkward. And then, um... I, when I was in my parents' house, like, I would do it, like, every once in a while, but most of the time when, like, I, I would get my laundry done, my mom or dad would, like, do my laundry for me. Like, they would do my laundry and, like, fold it on my bed for me. Like, my parents were, like, A1, like, thank you, mom, like, I appreciate that. Even till this day, like, since I lived in apartments and I, sometimes I don't have quarters or money or, like, the freaking dryers suck in the apartment, so I would have to go wash my clothes on my mom, and my mom would still wash them for me. And then, like, bring them to me like that. Thank you, Mom. Like, thank you. But, um, yeah, if you live in an apartment, like, you better save all your quarters you can. And make sure that nobody steals your clothes. Because people will steal your clothes out of the freaking apartment complex if you live in a ghetto apartment like I do. So, yeah, just make sure you have quarters and stuff. And, um, yeah. And, I mean, if you have a house, like, the house is either going to come with uh laundry like a like dryer and washer i mean maybe they don't honestly i'm not sure about the whole house part but you're gonna have to have to save money for laundry and yeah i mean i'm probably not making any sense right now honestly like i'm listening to myself and i'm just like what like what what did i just say <laughs> and then like the pros and cons of living in an apartment because like when i first moved out that's my like first like experience of like living on my own was in an apartment so what really sucks about living in an apartment is the parking like i don't know like it sucks because you know other people invite people over and stuff like that and it's like you're, you don't have your own driveway like if you would your own house so living in an apartment it sucks whenever you get home off of work or something and there's no parking like it freaking sucks and it's just like are you serious like i get home and there's no parking like where the heck am i gonna park now so, yeah, that's, like, one thing that, like, really sucks about living in an apartment. 
And then another thing about like living in an apartment or like when you move out into your house or whatever, um, you have to meet the neighbors. Like you're gonna eventually talk or see the neighbors. So you might as well just go say hi to them or whatever. And yeah, just like you're gonna you're gonna have to get to know the neighbors, you know. Unless you're just like you wanna be like a vampire and stay in your house, don't talk to nobody then you do that. You do you. But other than that, like, you're gonna eventually have to run into your neighbors one time. Plus, it's a good thing just to, like, have neighbors, especially if they're, like, good neighbors because, you know, if anybody ever steals something or, like, you need something or they need something, like, they all got you, you know? But, yeah, except those nosy neighbors, you know? Those no nosy neighbors get you in trouble sometimes. And then, like, some cool things about living on your own. You get to just come home whenever you want you get to go to bed whenever you want you get to wake up whenever you want you can walk around naked you could be like as loud as you want whenever you want like it really doesn't matter like that's what i love about living on my own is just like i don't have to sit here and think about like what anybody else is feeling like i don't know like you just get to like worry about yourself you know like you can't bitch at somebody for like not putting the toilet seat down if you live on your own you know like that's how cool it is unless you have a roommate you know and then they don't do it then you got bitch at them but yeah like you just get to be free whenever you live on your own like i got to be free whenever i live with my parents like they gave me a lot of freedom but like i had a certain time to get home or like you know they wanted me to be home and when you're home and you have your own place like you could be home whenever you want it doesn't matter <laughs> So yeah, that's like another cool thing. And then like when you're first moving in, check your premises, girl or boy. Just check where your surroundings are. Make sure that it's a clean environment. And by clean, I mean like no bed bugs, roaches, like any sort of bug infestation, you know. You don't want that because then that's going to be a problem, especially if you're planning on living somewhere for so long. But yeah, that's kind of everything that I could think of. Um, I should probably fix my hair. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know, just basic rules are when you move out, make sure you have money, a vehicle, and, like, yeah, just honestly, the whole real reason you, what you really need when you move out is money, like, money, 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 like, I'm telling you, you need money, like, when you move out, don't move out and be broke, even though, like, the advice I'm giving you, like, some of it's shit that I'm doing or shit that I've done and I've learned from. But, like, right now I live on my own and I'm broke as fuck. Like, I'm broke as fuck. Like, not broke as fuck, but there's, like, weeks where, like, I won't have, like, I already spent my paycheck in a day. Like, and I won't have money for the rest of the week. So, I guess I'm a hypocrite, I guess you could say. But I'm just trying to, like, give you all the advice that would help me if I, like, could talk to myself. Or, like, things that I've learned that I'm just, like, dang. So, yeah, just have money. Like, that's all you really need in life, which, like, kind of sucks because that means you can't really do shit because you need money, which, like, sucks ass. But, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you probably can't see it in this lighting, but I dyed my hair blue. I don't know if you could tell. But, yeah. Oh, and I got a new tattoo. Let me just show you. <laughs> this is my tattoo. It says, stand tall. It's a draft. And yeah, Snickers! I think this YouTube video is over. Um, I'm gonna try to keep up with my YouTube game and make videos every week, hopefully. And I really hope you guys like and subscribe to me. And I saw you new followers. Like, thank you so much for following me. That means a lot to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you plan on moving out, uh, good luck on you. And I really hope everything goes good and it's gonna be an experience. And I hope you enjoy it. And yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.